So, students let us move ahead in this particular module other partition functions. What we will do? We will see an important aspect that is the fluctuations, the fluctuations in some of the properties in grand canonical and the NPT ensembles. So, the current lecture the third on the series of module 5 we will focus on the fluctuations in both grand canonical and isothermal isobaric ensembles. So, what do you mean by fluctuation? We will be seeing the fluctuation in the grand canonical ensemble will pertain to the number of particles. So, now you see we have we know that in a grand canonical partition function you have the number of particles because this is given by mu v t ok, chemical potential, constraint volume and temperature. So, obviously your number will vary, the number of particles will uh, has to vary, something has to vary in order to keep mu v t to be constant. Same way in the fluctuation in isobaric isothermal ensemble, since your here n p t is constant, the number of particles, pressure and temperature. So, which are the two things which will vary? It will vary is the energy and the volume. So, we will see in each cases what is the fluctuation of these properties like and how it is related to number of particles. So, what is the we first start with the magnitude of possible fluctuation in the number of particles. So, you have a canonical partition function, grand canonical partition function with mu v t. So, now we want to find out what is the fluctuation in the number of particles, how does it depend on the total number of particles of the ensemble. So, for that we will have to write down the variance. So, what is the variance in number of particles? It is sigma square n which is nothing but n square bar minus n bar square. Okay. This is the expression we will be using for any property to find out the variance. So, we find the variance. So, if it based on, so now if you recollect our partition function mu v t is equal to summation of E of mu n by k t into well, it is e to the power of minus p v by k t, I am writing here as the canonical partition function that is n q of n v t. This we have seen the definition of the partition function in case of grand canonical ensemble. Now, uh, what we can do is we can do a small sum correction that is we can see that if I do this derivative of this partition function with mu keeping both volume and temperature to be constant. If you do the derivative of this equation as above, so you will get 1 upon k t into summation n because it is with respect to mu n by k t comes out or n is inside n by k t then you will have the same expression here and q of n v t. Because Q does not have any function of number of molecules, it stays as it is. So, this is what we called as this one and if I do a double derivative of this same expression, you will get you will get 1 upon k t whole square into summation. Again, this n will come out because it is doing with respect to mu. So, n into n will become n square. So, n square and then E of mu n by k t and then q will be as it is. So, this definition means that this is n bar and this is n square bar. Okay. So, it means I can write down n bar as. So, if I want to put some equation numbers, let us suppose this equation 1 and equation 2. So, equation 1's from equation 1 we can write down n bar is equal to k t by partition function then d of the derivative of the partition function with respect to chemical potential keeping volume and temperature constant. So, it means your n bar is this much. So, your n bar, so I can write down n bar if I want to write in terms of definition it will be simply n into E mu n by k t by q n v t divided by the partition function. 
this is what you call the n bar okay so this is n bar so these are the different values of n multiplied by the Boltzmann constant divided by the partition function so from this definition n bar definition and this expression I have written this expression so this is one expression secondly from equation 2 again so naturally if this is n bar so n square will be below here so it is n square bar so n square means again this entire expression will be divided by the partition function so if you write in that manner so equation 2 then becomes n square bar sorry n square of bar is equal to kt whole square into dot t so these are the two expressions which we got n bar and n square bar so n bar is given using this expression so from this expression we have getting the value of n bar in terms of partition function similarly n square bar we are getting an expression in terms of partition function so you remember these two expressions which will be requiring for computing equation let us say this is equation a we will now substituting this n bar and n square bar so where it is n bar so i require n bar square so i will just square it in this let us see what we get so it means that i can write also in this manner d n bar d n bar by d mu equals to kt into square of the partition function then do with respect to the partition function by do mu keeping the volume and temperature to be constant plus kt upon do mu square keeping volume and temperature constant ok so I can write down in this manner n bar so because this n bar expression I am getting from the previous expression of the slide so I do a derivative with respect to mu so the expression for that was equal to if you remember the n bar was just from the previous slide we could get the n bar expression so it was kt upon into so n bar is this term so I take a derivative with respect to mu so you get the first term as this and second term as this ok so it means that now this is nothing but if I want to replace it then this becomes n square bar and this will become minus n bar square by kt is not it ok so this is see I just want to mention what these points because when the bar is on top of n and when the bar is outside n what does this signify so this is nothing but you have n square bar minus n bar whole square ok because n bar you know is this n bar you know is this and uh, you know in the previous expression we also got an expression for n square bar n square bar is you will be having kt square by So I have just replaced it see this is uh, this is if I want to write it is nothing but n square bar n square bar by kt and this is n bar square by kt so I will just now so thus what it will be sigma n square thus it become is becomes kt into do n bar upon dou mu so because our aim was to find out 
what is the expression for n square by bar because we need to find out what was sigma square. Sigma square n we told you its expression is equal to n square bar by n bar square. So, we got this expression that is n square bar minus n bar square by k t. So, k t has to be multiplied with this term. So, it becomes n square bar minus n bar square. So, this is the final expression. Now, we need to find an expression for dou n bar by dou mu. So, what is that? We can write down for ideal gas, you know the expression for chemical potential is minus k t ln of q by n. We already know. So, you take the derivative with respect to number of molecules keeping the volume and temperature to be constant, you will get equal to k t by n. Okay. It will be k t by n simply or so sigma n square then becomes k t into. So, you have here mu dou n bar because this is dou mu by dou n or dou n by dou mu this will be n by k t. Now, it means I need to calculate k t into n by k t. So, it means that k t k t cancels out it is simply n. So, sigma n is equal to root of n. So, it means the deviation will increase with number of particles and what is the fractional deviation which if I divide it. So, if suppose or I can also write in this manner sigma n by n thus becomes 1 upon root n. So, it means I can say that the relative fractional fluctuation the relative fluctuation decreases with number of particles decreases with number of particles and while the absolute deviation directly related to the number of particles, but fractional fluctuation will decrease with number of particles. So, these are the two important outcomes we have got from this value of the number of particles. Okay. So, what we have done is we found out the expression for n bar and n bar square, n square bar, n bar, n square bar. Then what we did? We took the expression of n bar and then we did, did a derivative with respect to mu. So, we did a derivative with respect to mu. So, we got two expressions that is one uh, with this expression, another one with this expression. Then what we did? We just replaced this because we know that this is equal to n square bar minus n bar square and is equal to by kt. So, it is becomes sigma n square. Then we wrote out the ideal gas equation where chemical potential k mu is equal to minus kt ln q and that did the remaining was very uh, we are tried to try to relate with the sigma n square with number of particles. This is what the fluctuation of chemical ensemble looks like. Now, let us see for NPT ensemble when we talk of internal energy what will be the fluctuation. Again we will write down the fluctuation in energy as equal to Now, when I am writing this particular brackets, it means they are ensemble averaged values. So, ensemble average value of E square and ensemble average value of E then to square it. So, they are different because every time you get value of E, you get the square of it and then you write this, you record all the square values and then take the average. But in this case, you take the average whatever E is coming that you make square and then you take the ensemble average. So, these are the two different meanings. So, that is the definition of sigma square E. Now, if you remember this ensemble average, I can write down in this manner E i into E to the power of minus E i by k t into e to the power of minus p v by k t. This is the internal energy expression, the ensemble average expression. Okay. 
so there are two summations one on goes on top of the volume and other goes on top of the energy values now uh, i can also write down a similar expression that is if i want to write down this at constant pressure and number of particles this will be nothing but v all the states it will be simply be equal to ei plus pv by kt square e to the power of minus ei by kt e to the power of minus pv by kt so this is actually a consequence of this value delta which we all know already this is across the two summations e to the power of minus pv by kt into e to the power of minus ei by kt now if you take the derivative of this function if you take the derivative of this particular npt partition function with respect to temperature you see in both the cases you have temperature as a function so your uh, entire expression that is your pv by kt because it is t with respect to t it is equal to t square so it will be kt square and negative negative will cancel out so you will have only p by pv into kt square and in this case again negative negative cancels out it will be e by kt square so e by kt square comes here so everything is there multiplied by the exponential term okay so this is what you get now what i'll do is i'll try to do this also make it in terms of log terms divided by the partition function if you divide by the partition function you will get ei into pv by kt square e to the power of minus pv by kt then e to the power of minus ei by kt you get this or what you can do you multiply by kt square both sides multiply kt square both sides so if you multiply by kt square i'll write here in terms of delta i will write here del and delta by dot t again i will write here kt square by delta v i ei by pv into kt square e to the power of minus pv by kt into e to the power of minus ei by kt okay now if you see kt square kt square cancels out so open the bracket up open the bracket so if you open the bracket you will get kt square do ln delta by do t this will be equal to 1 upon delta because kt square cancels out so this kt square this kt square cancels out so it will be 1 by delta then you have number of states as it is now try to open this bracket it will be ei e to the power of minus pv by kt e to the power of minus ei by kt okay then plus you will have p upon delta into summation double summation v into e to the power of minus ei by kt to e to the power of minus pv by kt okay so you will have the two terms as before here v and i so p i have taken it outside it is divided by delta so what is this this is nothing but your average energy term that is given by this expression equation 1 so this becomes equation 1 equation 1 and this becomes simply p into v p into v bar isn't it this will become p into v bar this term and this will become simply e bar so let us write down this expression because this is the average expression for e ensemble average value of energy and this is the ensemble energy value of volume so this is one important conclusion let us go on the next stage so let us again write down that expression to as to compile it kt square so you will have do ln delta by do t you will be having equals to 1 upon delta double summation across v i then e i e to the power of minus pv by kt e to the power of minus 
ei by kt then another term where you have the pressure outside internal energy you will have the volume so i can write down here equals to this will be nothing but the internal energy plus pressure into the volume work this is it okay and what is this what is the right hand side but we know that this plus p into v bar will be the enthalpy term so it means that the average enthalpy term is then simply ensemble average enthalpy term will be kt do ln delta by do t this is the expression this is an important expression for enthalpy this is 2 okay so this is the average enthalpy so you have an expression for average energy you have an expression for average energy now we need to find the expression for average energy square ensemble average of energy square let us see how we do that so for that we have to write the expression what is this expression for energy square this will be nothing but division then summation double summation across v and all the energy states now instead of ei it will be ei square that's it e to the power of minus pv by kt e to the power of minus ei by kt okay this is the expression so you know we have uh, we also have this expression in hand the derivative of the partition function with respect to temperature again it's a double sum with volume energy and uh, from the previous slide we obtain this expression ei by pv by kt square into e to the power of minus ei by kt into e to the power of minus pv by kt this we have got fine so what you do is you do another derivative of this expression okay you do another derivative of this expression of this expression means let's say this is equation number 2 do the derivation of equation number 2 further if you do it you will see you will get an expression minus k by kt cube by v by i then you will have ei plus pv e to the power of minus ei by kt e to the power of minus pv by kt okay plus 1 by kt square whole square 1 by kt square whole square again double sum 1 across volume another across the states it will be ei plus pv whole square e to the power of minus ei by kt into e to the power of minus pv by kt okay see the issue is when you do the derivative of this term so this term is one term and this term is the other term so if you see there are two terms involved so once once you do that you will get kt cube so you are getting kt cube here 2 by kt cube minus and this will be as it is then this expression will be as it is it's there in the second term what you do you keep this cost term like this so 1 upon kt square is outside eipv again if you do it with respect to temperature both the expression this ei plus pv again terms comes out this ei plus pv into ei plus pv becomes ei plus pv whole square and the remaining terms as it is so this is where it arrives now again what you do you want to simplify it further you multiply by kt square and again divide by delta both sides so you will get here minus t upon simple what we will get is now we are talking about the ensemble average value so if i want to write down in terms of ensemble average value it will be simply p this that's it plus 1 by kt square because we are uh, multiplying with 1 kt square so 1 by kt square goes away so it will be only 1 by kt square then you expand this bracket open it this is a plus b whole square so it's a square plus b square plus 2ab 
and then you write out the terms. If you write out the terms, you will get a, a square, this is the a square term plus 2ab. 2ab means 2p into ev. Both this can be combined together. 2 into p into ev plus then p square v square. So, it will be p square into the ensemble average value of v square, this term. Okay? You open this term. So, this is the expression here. Or, I can simplify it further, k t square upon delta by dou square delta by dou t square. Now, what I can do is, this is nothing but u plus p v. u plus p v, we have found out from the previous slide, I will replace it with that expression. So, it will be minus 2 by 2 into k t square into dou ln delta. So, obviously, this will be then this expression will be as it is, it will be k t square, then bracket open a square plus 2 p e v plus p square ensemble average of v square. So, this comes out is the fact that this is nothing but h bar, this is nothing but h bar. So, this h bar I have taken the expression from the previous slide and substituted here. Now, this is fine. So, we have an expression for e bar, but still we do not have an expression for e square bar that is this one because we have to replace something from here because we do not need these terms. We need terms only in respect to partition function. So, what we will do? We will define two parameters. One is the volumetric compressibility, another is the specific heat capacity at constant pressure. Okay? Let us do that. So, for alpha, the specific heat, the volume compressibility is given by this term, dou V bar by dou T. And uh, this is given as this expression. I am not showing the uh, details of the calculations. By k t square. This is alpha. Let us suppose this equation A and then we will also write out the Cp term. This we have got earlier also. I am just again writing it down plus kt square this B. Now, these are the two terms which can be measured experimentally, alpha and Cp. So, alpha term I am written here. So, I am not writing the definition, the entire derivation of how you got this V bar. You can do it yourself. Now, Cp. Now, these two terms somehow I have to replace in the previous expression. So, let us see the previous expression. Let us write it down. I will see term by term the kt square delta do dou square delta by dou t square. Okay. Then uh, you have this expression from the previous term. It will be k t square and dou ln delta by dou t plus 1 by k t square into e square ensemble averaged plus 2 p plus Now, let us divide the terms into, let us suppose this is term 1 and let us suppose this is term 2 and then you try to replace term 1 and term 2. So, for term 1, so putting B, inserting, let us please refer to this equation B. So, if you see equation B, I have an expression for kt square dou ln delta by dt that is k t square, this expression I can write down in terms of C p minus this term into t. So, I will what I will do, I will replace this k t square dou ln delta dou t from equation b. So, if you do that, you will get, I can also write down this way C p minus k t square dou square ln delta 
equals to 2 kt i have just taken this expression to that side to the left hand side the cp minus kt square now i need kt square here so it means i need to multiply and divide by t minus t i want to make it kt square so if you do that you will get is equal to because it's a negative sign here minus minus sign is here so what i'll do i will just uh, uh, if i open this one the one becomes it will be simply be equal to minus 2 kt do ln delta by do t it means this one and this one if i want to make them equal i just need to make a negative sign on both side so this will minus cp plus kt square then do square ln delta by dt square equal to minus 2 kt into do ln okay now this is important what i will do this expression i will now substitute here one so one is settled one is settled in the implying that i have every all the equation in terms of known properties that is cp so it means you have this term settled now let us go for the second term now term 2 what is term 2 term 2 is 1 upon kt square now this is e square plus 2p ensemble average of ev plus p square v square this is term 2 so but we have this term d of v bar by dt as minus of v bar do ln delta by do t plus plus p by k t square into v square now what i will do i will try to substitute this expression i will try to take all the terms to the front side i will express this particular term in terms of the do v by do t then this term and this term and try to replace in this expression so what i will get if i do that i will get so this term then becomes ev upon kt square is equal to do v by do t plus so this comes this side on the left hand side okay minus because this comes there the left hand side it becomes minus kt square to v square okay so this expression now what i will do because you have this 2p this term 2p here in this expression i'll multiply this by 2p so if i multiply this by 2p it becomes kt square equal to 2p do of v by do t plus 2p into v bar by do ln delta by do t again 2p it become 2p square by kt square t square now we have the expression so because we have the expression to be substituted as 2p the summation average of ev by kt square so put this expression so from this expression you will get let us suppose this is equation 2 from equation 2 so you substitute this value okay from equation 2 substitute this value so you will get the first term will be as it is plus then the entire term that is 2p del v of del t plus 2p m symbol average minus 2p square kt square okay plus then the remaining term is p square 
v square by kt square. Now you have a kt square also here outside. So uh, because you are multiplying by kt square, this kt square and this is 2p by kt square. So this is the entire expression from equation 3. So the overall if I want to just simplify it, you see the one of that will cancel out. So this is if I just open the bracket, you will get plus 2p of plus this expression will be also be the same. Then here it is minus 2p square kt square, it is plus p square by kt square. So it becomes minus p square by kt square into v square. So this is the equation, final equation 2. So why we have 1 and 2 both together here. So now I can combine them together and write out the entire equation which we got earlier. So before that we can also write down this expression just because this expression will also be true dou square ln delta by dou t square I can write down as dou ln delta by dou t whole square plus 1 by delta of dou square delta by dou t square okay or the initial expression what we have started with now let us write down equals to let us suppose this is equation 3 so initial equation is kt square dou square ln delta by dou t square minus cp now this is what is called the equation 1 plus then equation 2 we write it from the previous slide this kt square plus 2p dou of v bar by dou t minus p square plus 2 pv into dou ln delta by dou t ok. So this is us equation number 2. Now what you do is this particular term this particular term so replace by this equation 3 so equation 3 means you have the term of kt square dou square ln by dou t square so you multiply kt square both sides and then replace this term here so if you do that you will get finally kt square by delta dou square delta by dou t square now this kt square if you want to write it down it will be simply be equal to kt square so if i want to replace this only this derivative term dou square ln delta by dou t square so it will be kt square into dou ln delta by dou t whole square plus kt square by delta dou square delta by dou t square okay plus i'm not writing this entire expression this two now if you see this both the terms are similar so you have this term here left okay so it means this term it is zero here and i write here kt square dou ln delta by dou t whole square minus cp plus now let us open the bracket kt square plus 2p del of v by dou t plus 2 of p v bar this is the term ok now you see we have a term what you can do is here multiply by kt square both sides ok so 0 will be equal to kt square so you will see kt square dou ln delta by dou t whole square so i can write down this term as this term minus 
cp into kt square plus this term plus kt square 2p kt square dou of v bar by dou t plus 2p v bar kt square into dou ln delta by dou t okay so this is nothing but this term this term i can write down as a square okay this term i can write down as minus 2ab and what is then b square then b square is simply it will be minus p square into so this is a square 2ab so this is 2ab and then because you have this term i think we have left one term here let us see what it is uh, 2p kt by p square by v square so it is p square v square by kt square plus we have missed out one term this is minus p square kt square by v square so when i do with respect to kt square if i multiply this becomes p square into v square this term so this is then takes the form of b square so you have a square term b square term minus 2ab term so i can write down kt do ln delta by do t minus of pv whole square so in the next slide what i will do i will make it more simple so you will get 0 0 equals to minus of kt square do ln delta by do t this is a minus p of v bar this is b so it's nothing but it's like a minus b whole square that's it so we found out a square term b square term minus 2ab term from the previous slide so this minus this whole square i'm writing then the remaining term will be as it is cp kt square plus e square plus 2 p kt square then dou of v bar by dou t this is so we have got one expression or this e square thus i have one expression of this e square term e square is nothing but this kt square because what i'll do i'll keep the e square in one side and keep all the terms on the other side so this becomes positive so this is become tau ln delta by dou t minus p of v bar whole square this term plus cpkt square minus 2pkt square dou of v bar by dou t just taken this everything this side so i am expressing this e square in terms of other terms so this is the expression but uh, we know this expression if i want to recall you just want to recall kindly recall i write here kindly recall we obtained this expression also earlier dou ln delta by dou t equals to 1 by delta summation v summation i e i e to the power of minus e i by k t e to the power of minus p v by k t plus p by delta double summation v and i v e to the power of minus e i by k t e to the power of minus p v by k t this we have got already so and we also found out that this expression is nothing but so this term is e bar so this is e bar we have already known and this is p into v bar okay so it means that e bar equals to kt square dou ln delta by dou t minus p v bar okay this is the expression so coming back to our standard deviation we wrote this expression as so now we have got both the expressions one is this expression expression number one see we got the expression four and expression five so put expression four and five in expression six and simplify so if you do that you will get kt square let us first put these values here 
so sigma e square equals to you will be having is k t square dou ln delta by dou t minus of p delta v this is whole square plus c p k t square minus 2 p k t square now this i will write down this alpha v because here kindly note alpha v is dou of v bar by dou t so i will write down this alpha v instead of the values minus this is for e bar e square bar minus of this e bar square this e bar square is what this is nothing but k t square by dou ln delta by dou t minus p of v bar whole square ok so so from i write down just from 5 and 6 actually now you see so this entire term this term and this term cancels so what you are left is simply sigma e square is equal to c p k t square minus 2 p k t square into alpha v that is it nothing else so we just simplify it further so it means let us write down the kind of equation you get this expression as c p k t square minus 2 p k t square for v but cp we know for ideal gas it is equal to 5 by 2 nk ok so dou v bar upon dou t will be equal to nk upon p because based on the ideal gas law nk upon p or sigma e square equals to 5 by 2 n 5 by 2 nk into kt square minus then 2 p k 8 2 p 2 p kt square and this is alpha v is nk by b so if you do that you will get the sigma e square upon based on the ideal monoatomic gas the fractional conversion is nothing but 2 upon 9 n to the power of half ok c p k t square i have applied the value of c p k t square this is nothing but it is 2 by 9 n to the power of half so it means your fractional conversion again is inversely proportional so it is inversely proportional to number of particles So this is what the final expression lies for the number average. So in this case, it is a NPT ensemble. So what I did expressions of 7 and 8, I have inserted in let us say 6, putting 7 and 8 in 6. So then I have simplified this entire term and then I have written the fractional energy distribution with respect to the ideal gas or monoatomic gas that will be 2 upon 9 n. So in the case of volume what we will have is so volume will be so I will again write down what is this this is nothing but q in terms of v e to the power of minus p v by k t I am writing in short form these are all functions of q is function of n v t. So I can write down the average value of n using the concept of the ensemble average it is nothing but v into q into the e to the power of minus p v by k t because by delta here kindly note that i am writing here is what q i am writing as summation of e to the power of minus e i by k t okay so that is why this q comes here directly from this equation I can also write down we already know from this expression v bar I can also write down as minus kt of dou ln delta by dou p 
when we did the analogy from the classical and statistical thermodynamics we actually obtained this expression so we know the v bar expression so what you do is you can also write down in this manner do the de double derivative of this keeping t and n constant so you will get simply v by kt of whole square into q into e to the power of minus p v by kt or you will get v square bar because this is v square bar it needs to be divided by the partition function so it will be and into kt square so it will be simply be kt square kt square by dou p square keeping v by n constant okay so these two equations you should remember equation uh, let's say this is equation 1 and equation 2 so now I can also write down dou square p at constant temperature and n is equal to delta into dou square ln delta by dou p square plus dou ln delta by dou p keeping t n n constant. Now you know what is the expression for this sigma v square sigma v square is nothing but v square bar minus v bar square so i will replace this v square bar and v bar square from this expression so if you do that it will be simply b is equal to v square bar minus v bar square equal to kt into dou square by dou p square this will be nothing but I can write down this entire term I can write down in terms of kt ln delta ok so if I do a kt ln delta I will have two terms so kt ln delta so it will become dou square of minus kt ln of delta this term or this is minus kt dou square g by dou p square which is equal to minus kt to dou v bar by dou p ok now so the fractional conversion term then takes the form v square by bar square by v bar square which is equal to nothing but kt upon v square bar by dou v bar by dou p so for an ideal gas if I want to take P V bar is equal to N K T so we have dou V bar upon dou P is nothing but minus N K T by P square. Now substitute the value here so you will get as sigma V square equal to V square bar by V bar square by V square bar equal to N into K T square by n k t square whole square so nothing but 1 upon n so again we are seeing that the fractional conversion is going inversely proportional to the number of volume in the case of volume also so both in the case of energy as well as in the volume for an isobaric isothermal ensemble it goes inversely with the number of particles so this was an important exercise i wanted to do because all these expressions has a profound effect on the fluctuations of those variables which are not held constant so that's why i wanted to go through a detailed derivation and we have found derivation for the fluctuation in the case of gan canonical ensemble and the isobaric isothermal ensemble okay so we will take some more problems in the next class so as before you please go through sandler's book you will get a brief idea about the partition function for both gan canonical and the isobaric isothermal ensemble thank you Thank you.